Hey everyone, how is your day going? Today we're going to take us and do a story about how sound moves. Did you know that sound does move? Hmm, can you see it move? All right, let's find out what goes on with sound. So let me share my screen. It says how sound moves. Boom, boom, boom. You hear the booming noise of a deep drum. How does the sound reach you? And how do you know what it is? Sound waves. A drummer hits a drumstick against a drum head to make it vibrate. To vibrate is to move back and forth quickly. When the person hits the drum head, it vibrates and makes a sound. The vibrations bump the air and start a sound wave. The sound wave travels through the air to your ear. Hearing sound. The wave quickly reaches your ear and goes inside the canal. It bumps a little drum there called an eardrum. And it says inside your ear is a small flap of skin on your ear. Sound waves make it vibrate. That's your eardrum. The eardrum sends a message to your brain. Your brain hears the boom and tells you that the boom is the sound of a drum. Volume, how loud is it? Some sounds are loud and move in tall waves, such as a drum's boom. Volume tells how loud a sound is. The higher the volume, the louder the sound. Quiet sounds have short waves. So look, the kitty cat, I think that would be a short wave, right? Because they're pretty quiet. They just go, some sounds are quiet and move in short waves. So airplanes and cars have high volumes. Loud sounds have tall waves. So you've heard a, a, a loud car or a loud airplane, that is a tall wave. It says pitch, how high is it? Some sounds are high and move in waves that are close together. It says tea kettles make high sounds. Waves are closer together when the pitch is high. Some sounds are low and move in waves that are far apart. A deep drum boom is like this too. The pitch tells how high or how low a sound is. Lions make low sounds because they have a big growl. Waves are far apart when the pitch is low. Sounds are everywhere. Close your eyes and listen to the noises around you. You can tell that sound waves are everywhere. Dogs can make sounds with high and low pitches. What is their volume? What is their pitch? All the sounds that you hear, do you hear? Can you hear what their volume is? Is it high or low? What about their pitch? Is it high or low? Birds can make many sounds and fire engines can make loud sounds. Do you hear a fire engine at your house? Very quiet here. I don't hear very many noises right now at all, but sometimes I do. Oh, and then it tells you how to make your own little drum. Great. Have you ever tried to make a drum? Look at all the new words that we've learned. We learned about the canal. Remember, that was the tube that leads into your ear. We learned about the drum head. That's the flat part of the drum that you hit with. And we learned about the ear drum that's inside the ear canal. And we learned about pitch. That's how high or how low a sound is. So if I was to talk really high, that would be a high pitch. Can you try that? <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? And can you talk really low in a low pitch? Oh, oh, oh. Right? That'd be a low pitch. <laughs> and we learned about sound waves. So that's a wave that can't be seen, but it's formed when sound is made. And then we learned about vibrating and vibrations. That means when something moves back and forth. And then we learned about volume. That's how loud or how soft a sound is. Can you show me a soft sound? Oh, that's good. Can you, but be careful, make sure you don't wake anybody up. But can you show me a, a sound that's a little bit louder? Oh, that's great. Good job, my friends. So now we've learned all about sound. So maybe you could spend some time today listening for some sounds around your house and see if you can tell if they are have a high pitch or a low pitch. All right.
Have a great day, friends. Bye-bye.